I think allogenic stem cell transplantation as the mother of immunotherapy has proven the power of T cells. So alternative tools are now evolving to recruit T cells for therapeutic um, strategies in acute leukemia. So in my talk I will address um, shortly um, the modality of checkpoint inhibitors and how they can recruit endogenous T cell responses um, to intracellular target antigens. And um, as the first results, as clinical trials are still running, are sort of disappointing, I'd also uh, like to point out what combinatorial strategies um, are there available, combinations with hypomethylating agents and also vaccination strategies that might boost anti-leukemic responses that then are further enhanced with checkpoint inhibition. And the second and the focus of my talk will be on T-cell engaging antibody constructs that target surface antigens, um, which have been shown great success in the B-cell uh, malignancies, where we have a very suitable target antigen, CD19, and we can live very well uh, without B-cells, but we have the problem if we translate the success to AML that we are still looking for the ideal target antigen. So in my talk I will address strategies for identifying novel, possibly suitable targets and antigens in AML. And I will um, demonstrate some of our ex vivo work where we used the T-cell engager AMG330, which targets CD33 on AMLs and recruits CD3 um, um, expressed on T cells, and where we could show in our ex vivo work that its um, T cells from AML patients are highly functional and uh, that this construct elicits cytotoxicity in the majority of primary AML samples which we've looked at. And based on this data, and I'm going to just present the concept of the trial, recently uh, first in human phase one multicenter uh, trial has been initiated where we use AMG 330 for relapse refractory AML in a classical 3 plus 3 design. And 50 patients will be recruited over six, 36 months, um, so uh, accrual is ongoing and uh, we can't say anything about the data yet.